Hey, this is Mike for Licked. In this video, I'll show you how to isolate dialogue in Adobe Audition CC. Okay, I'll show you two methods to isolate these vocals. Your audio production hour starts now. And you can hear there's music and vocals there. Method one works in most scenarios, not all scenarios, and the quality isn't always that great, but it gets you some of the way there. Method two that I'm gonna show you later on is fantastic, but you need to have the original music track to do a really cool trick. Uh, so let's start with method one, and that's using a cool effect in the effects menu under stereo imagery. It's the central channel extractor. And there's actually a preset in here. You can use it on anything, whether it's singing dialogue, whether it's spoken word, whatever, you just go for the acapella effect here. And let's listen to the default settings. Your audio production hour starts now. Okay, it's not the worst in the world, but I've heard better, okay? So you have definitely isolated uh, those vocals. Let's listen to the difference. I'll switch it on and off. Your audio production hour starts now. So do you know what? Actually, that does a really good job. If you want to tweak it, uh, you can change at the moment the center channel level is high and the side channel levels, that's the stereo, the music levels are down. We can actually invert that. Did you know you can invert that? You can pull down the center channel and push up the side channels. And you've essentially created a karaoke track, right? You've eliminated the uh, the, the dialogue, the um, the spoken word, the sung area of the audio again. Your audio production hour starts now. And as I fade that track up on the side channel, you'll hear the music come back in. Other tweaks we can do, we can move the center frequency and the start and end frequency range. Let's do that a little bit. Your audio production hour starts now. So as you can hear there, as I was tweaking with the uh, the low end uh, up to 300 hertz, it's getting rid of some of the kick drums, which is really, really cool. So let's leave it around 236. Your audio production hour. And the end frequency, the high end frequency, let's move that down a bit. Your audio production hour starts now. Move that down as low as you're comfortable with, obviously, uh, without deteriorating the vocals too much. And you can get a pretty good sound out of the center channel extractor. But, and here's the original. What if you have the original music bed? Which I just happen to have. Another way you can get the original music bed if you don't have it is use that uh, karaoke track effect I was showing you in the center channel uh, eliminator there. Uh, really, really cool stuff because you can get essentially your karaoke track. But here is the original track. It's a music bed. And what we need for this to work perfectly is we need to make this mono. You can do this by going to edit, convert sample type, and making sure you've got mono selected for the channels. Click OK. There's your mono track. And then over here in the isolate vocals track, we also need to make this mono as well. Again, simply edit, convert sample type, mono. Click OK. Once I've sampled it down to mono, so essentially summed both the left and right channels into one mono track. I can then go ahead and make it stereo again. You'll see why I need to do this in a moment. So again, converting the sample type back to stereo, click OK, there it is. And on the left channel, we're gonna totally uh, mute that and delete the right channel, like so. So now uh, the original track is only on the left channel. And the music bed that's mono here, we're going to Command or Control C to copy, and then Command or Control V only on the right channel to paste, okay? So now we've got the music bed over on the right, the mix that we want to isolate the dialogue on the left channel, and all we need to do now on the right channel is go into the effects menu and invert. We're essentially inverting the music bed, and what will happen is because we've inverted it, it will exactly cancel the other side out it's kind of a bit of audio magic going on here when we sum everything to mono. So listen to it at the moment. Your audio production hour. You can still very much hear the music there, but this is magic in a way, absolute magic. Edit, convert sample type to mono again. And with all of those steps in place, boom, there are your isolated vocals. This is stunningly accurate. Let's have a listen. Your audio production hour starts now. So, 
center channel extractor. If you haven't got the original music bed, will get you most of the way there. But inverting phase, as it's known, as I've shown you for method number two, is a brilliant way. Your audio production hour starts now. To get isolated dialogue or vocals in Adobe Audition. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And if you'd like to use the track I'm using in the background right now, head over to Licked.